Goal for the day, picnic. Picnic. Today's goal. We're gonna have a picnic. A picnic. Okay, so I contacted Burley this year because Max is finally big enough to have a bike trailer and I'm like, hey, would you guys want to do a giveaway by chance? And they were like, yes, totally. So, guess what? We are going to give away a new Burley trailer. We're going to do a family ride today. We're going to get some awesome footage and have fun. I don't know. We're going to get into it. Camera action when I step into the limelight, easily adapted to the high life. Dress to impress like it's prime night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dreams since we was kids. Big tips, big cars, and even bigger cribs. Never thought that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. The room starts to shake, so smooth if you blink, you might just miss the whole sure. thing. Oh yeah, right there, fitting my surfboard. Did you just go potty? We are making my absolute favorite pink bubblegum bowl. So, secret ingredient is frozen dragon fruit, which is super pink and super pretty. Other secret ingredient for flavor is frozen jackfruit. But if you don't have frozen jackfruit, if you can't find it, use frozen mango. It also includes strawberries, raspberries, bananas, and then our very favorite Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. I will link this in the description. This is one of our most popular recipes. What are we watching? Casey Neistat surfing in an abandoned wave pool. So we are just about wrapping up our pool time and we're gonna head out for a quick bike ride and a picnic. Now it's afternoon. And we need to go for a bike ride and have a picnic, but this boy needs a diaper change. You smell like poop. Did you poop? You did? Hang on. Hey, don't throw that. So like 10 years ago, Aaron and I bought these old Schwinn bikes and we like fixed them up, painted them up and like tricked them out and we still have a couple of them. I've since given a couple away, sold a couple, but these are our two favorites and we love to ride them. They're just more of like a day cruiser. I can't wait to get Max a bike. Like I said, we like the bike, okay? He's a nomad. Hey, slow down. Where are you going, bud? He's a little disappointed that the only thing in the mailbox today was an American Girl catalog, so. American Girl, what? <laughs> Let's recycle. Can you reach? Get it. Yeah. yeah. Is that made for adults? <laughs> it could be. I feel like this isn't the best for my posture. What do you think, Stink? Are you having a nap? So we're going to make some avocado toast, sandwich style so the avocado doesn't turn brown, and fresh berries that we're going to prep and chop for a Tupperware. we got leftover guac from last night's 4th of July festivities, which it keeps a lot better if you put it in a Tupperware and cover it with saran. Some leftover watermelon from last night and some leftover oatmeal with strawberries and chia from breakfast. So we're just kind of picking and choosing whatever's left in the fridge, not getting too fancy with it because it is a picnic. But these are some of our favorite foods. We're going to go to the park and have fun. Which sunglasses should I wear? Shoes. What do you think, the hibiscus or the flamingo? I think I changed my mind to the Tevas because it's like 100 outside and you guys, mom style is so in. Tevas used to be like the mom hiking sandal and now they're all over Pinterest. And on top of that, mom shorts are in too. So I haven't had to sacrifice any ounce of style to become a mom. <laughs> yeah, you look great. Okay, guess what guys? We are all packed up, we're ready to go. And Max is asleep. Okay, it's okay. I'm having a little dad breather out in the garage. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. As soon as that boy's up, we're going. We're going.
You didn't really think I was gonna leave the camera, did you? Whew. Okay, let's go. Guess what, guys? We're on our way. Perfect day, summer, all the gear. This is my dream. Yeah, give us a wave. Finally made it happen. Woo! Picnic in the park. We have a massively awesome giveaway for you guys. It's like a thousand dollar value. We're giving away the same burly trailer that we have <laughs> and we want to give you guys one too. So in order to enter you will need to leave us a comment in the comments below letting us know why you think you should win the burly trailer and then hop over to Instagram, yep. like both of our photos, and also be following both of us and Burley. Yep. You can tag a friend over there. Everything will be listed on Instagram, yep. but for starters, jump down in the comments and let us know why you think you should win. One lucky winner will go home with this epic <laughs> bike trailer and stroller. We seriously love it and we know you guys will too. You can use it as a stroller, which is super nice, and there's plenty of storage in the back in order to pack all of your goodies in the back. Thanks to Burley for hooking us up with our trailer and for sending one lucky winner one too. We wish you guys good luck. Good luck. This is one of those dinners where we get home late, we don't have the energy to cook, and we're not that hungry anyways because today was like our rest day from working out. That being said, we really quick whipped up some bonza shells and cheese. It's amazing, vegan mac and cheese. We made some quinoa, spiced it up with some simple frozen peas in there. Made some soaked chickpeas that we cooked in our Instant Pot. Careful, bud. And then some air fryer Japanese sweet potatoes. Last weekend we did our plant-based picnic and bike ride. This weekend we're doing our plant-powered 
pool party. Are you ready to go swim? <laughs> See cousin Isaiah? Yeah. You say hi to Papa? Can you wave? <laughs> Large onion, garlic, off of a large zucchini, carrots, lentils, chickpea, that's it. So they're like lentil, black bean, chickpea burgers mm -hmm. with veggies included. I'm getting my bad side. <laughs> so we've got veggie burgers that my mom made, grandma made, <laughs> and all the fixins. And then we've got what we're calling greenwa. So it's just quinoa with some bell pepper and onion and whole bunch of peas and broccoli. And we've got sweet potatoes, Japanese potatoes, regular potato wedges, cherries, that's it. So we are in Aaron's parents' backyard. I have actually done so much work back here. Aaron and I even painted the whole entire house, inside and out, back in college, like 10 years ago. It was our summer job one year to paint the entire house, inside and out, and we did it, and we actually had a ton of fun. But yeah, anyway, like we said before, Aaron's parents are crazy in love with their landscaping and it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful back here. So we're hanging out with the fam, soaking up all the summer and just loving it. No way, you turned around and saw that? No. Did you get that one, Phil? Uh huh. Got that one. So first and foremost, our reasoning, of course, for sharing our plant-based picnic and our plant-based pool party with you guys is to encourage you to get out and to enjoy your plant-powered lifestyle and show you that it is possible to do for a picnic and give you some fun ideas, as well as sharing in the wealth and the health with family and friends. So our pool parties have been super fun almost every weekend this summer. Thanks to the fact that our parents and families have really adopted our lifestyle and really enjoy, um, for example, my mom loves 
making veggie burgers for all of us and they are so, so good. So the other reason for making this video is just to encourage you guys during these times of staying in, wearing masks, feeling cooped up, probably not being able to travel. I know in the summertime a lot of us plan our family vacations and not being able to do that can put a little bit of extra unease or unhappiness in our lives. So we've really just decided to really pay more attention to having fun in our own backyard, so to speak. So what can you do in your own hometown? Small little mini adventures that you can maybe schedule, pencil in on the weekends to give you something to look forward to because what we really need now is that hope. Um, so do what you can at home, whether it's visiting a park you've never been to or getting together with family who you feel comfortable getting together with. Give it a go. Make use of what you have right in your own backyard in order to have fun little mini vacations with your family just to free yourself from devices and media that can be so draining right now. Oh, and one more thing before I hang up the phone here. So we went to our farmer's market with our Burley trailer, which you'll see in the video. Our local Sunday farmer's market is actually at a Seventh-day Adventist church. So what does that have to do with anything? Well, if you don't know, or if you're not aware, there is a book about the five blue zones in the world. So these are the five regions where people are living the measurably longest. So they have the most centenarians per capita. And there are places like Italy and Greece and Japan. Uh, Costa Rica is on there and there's actually one in the United States and it is in Loma Linda, California where there is a high concentration of Seventh-day Adventists and they are traditionally known for their vegetarian diets. So just putting that out there. But if you guys are looking to have fun in your own backyard, just recognize that you don't need a vacation to be your happiest, healthiest self. So enjoy and bloom where you guys are planted.